Hello everyone, my name is Shetum and today I will be making a big, uh, maybe not big, I mean, kind of decently sized rover base, I guess. <laughs> and uh, I will go through all of the steps how I make it, show everything, so this also will count as a building tutorial, so let's, let's, let, let's get into it. Oh, by the way, look at this. <laughs> noodle arms. Right, first, first we need to think about what we want to have in our rover. Uh, how much cargo refineries, maybe some hydrogen tanks, if you want to use engines for power generation. Assemblers, I think I will go with... Uh, uh, let me think <laughs> for a second. Alright, let's go for 8 car cargo containers, 4 refineries and 4 assemblers and 2 hydrogen tanks. So, what I always do when I start building is, first I lay out the components while thinking about how I want the shape to be in the future, and it... I don't think it ever worked out on the first try, so... Uh, let me just uh, think about how I want to lay it out, and uh, I will be right back. Oh, but first, we need to place the first block. Usually I place a cockpit. So I know which direction is forward and convert it into station. So in case I accidentally remove a block while building the ship or the rover, I can easily reconnect it. Like that. And also just in case you don't know, there's symmetry mode, you press M until you get the planes that you want to have like this. Press N two times and there you go, symmetry mode is enabled. Also you can add multiple symmetry planes. Uh, so let's add this one. Yep, there we go. But we will need only a red one right now. So select the symmetry plane that is already exi that already exists and right click. That's it. It's gone. And another thing, I totally forgot to insert the big hydrogen tank. So what we could do is remove this. Control X. Control V, after this uh, press B, and we move this like something like this. Uh, one, two, three. Yep, like that. Perfect. And now we can do this. What? How should I put it? I think something like this should be pretty good. All the connector ports are looking nice, all in the proper orientation, so I won't get irritated later. <laughs> and now, bam, there we go. This is connected. And now I do the same for this sync. Also, by the way, what you should put on assemblers is for speed modules, on refineries for yield modules. Or if you're just starting out, put uh, four speed modules on the refineries too. But uh, when you have the resources, put yield modules on the refineries and four of them. Four yield, four speed on assemblers. If you put anything else, no, you don't put anything else. You shouldn't put anything else. You don't put two yield modules into speed modules. That's not correct. That's wasteful and uh, stupid. And the uh, power efficiency modules are... Uh, well, well, they're garbage. <laughs> Don't use them. Alright, I went ahead and put in most of the systems. So, safe zone, tractor, oxygen tanks, cargo hydrogen tanks, assemblers, refineries, hydrogen engines, and hydrogen generators. That's the thing that I put on this rover base. Now, here comes the fun part. We are going to make interior now. I have zero clue what I want to do, but uh, I mean, it's how you build. You figure out stuff when you start building. It's, there's no point in thinking what you want to build, how you want to build it when you are just starting to build, because it's going to end up different. Because you're going to find out a lot of things while building. Like, that something not working, 
or that he can make something more efficient. Uh, this took me... I don't know, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour to make. <laughs> it could take you a little longer to design a basic uh, skeleton of all of the components inside the ship, but that's the thing that you should do first. Think about what your, sh your ship will be doing and what components it needs. Now, I left a lot of open space here because I might or I might not want to make a hangar down here. I, I don't know how I'm going to exec execute it, but uh, that's the idea. And also another idea I want to do is maybe have an optional like huge drill rig on the top of it that can be extended and you can drill down on the planet on the safe zone i i'm not sure if rovers convert to static grids or not as i will remove it if it doesn't work but the plan is to convert the rover into static grid when you don't need to move it and enable the safe zone so you can be safe also why i put a car container for the safe zone because you can put cargo container to no share and safe zone to no share if you are playing a multiplayer. And you can disable well uh, grinding in the safe zone. And that means that even your faction members won't be able to steal the safe chips from the safe zone or the cargo container for the safe chips. They won't be able to turn it off and they won't be able to grind it down. So it's totally safe. And you can go to sleep peacefully. <laughs> Alright, I have been building for about an hour now. And I'm starting to finish fully seeing what I want to do with this project. So I decided to make a pretty interesting choice. And put the entrance to the hangar in the front. It's not really a hangar. Maybe it's a hangar, just small parking for a scout rover or a ship. Every sh every big thing needs at least one small parking spot. Alright. The cockpit would be here. Asymmetrical and interesting. Now here we have, a st we have stairs up here. There would be like a viewing area here, after that another zone, right here, I am not sure what I want to do with this one, and back here I would have a big drill, and here maybe a landing pad or something, maybe more of the living zone, I am not sure yet, it will change a lot as I build it, actually let's see how how big are the wheels compared to it? So the plan is to have maybe like one wheel here. And uh, two wheels in the back. I think that should be pretty good. Something like that. Let's see. Uh, well... That looks decent. Maybe this one a little bit back. Yep. <laughs> this looks hilarious, but it forks. And it will look actually good when I finish working on it. Hopefully. Because if it doesn't, I'm going to be sad. This is a really big time skip, but now I am 3 hours into building this, and what I did is I finished planning out most of the interior. So, medical room, uh, cryopods, uh, crew rooms, decks, uh, how, how do you even call them? Uh, airlock, so we can walk out to the top. Down here we have a hangar. Uh, yeah, this, this build has a severe case of... Uh, how are they called again? Of passage overdose. 
Also, I decided to make the cockpit not down here because there was not enough space, but here and finished. Well, not really finished, but uh, planned it out too. And here we have kitchen tables. This rover base is made for four people. Well, that's the lore that it will have, at least. Now, we need to decide where we should put the wheels. Also, connectors, probably, on the bottom. And on the sides. What would a connector on the side be useful on a rover? I don't know. Well, we can always add it later. And after that, we can do the armor around it. And that is the most fun part. I really don't have a lot to talk about interior. You just kind of do it. There's no big tricks to it. Just try. Put blocks. Uh, doesn't work. Remove them. Put them again. I'm still not sure with this area. So, with armor. <laughs> How I do armor is I just... Basically, freestyle it. I kinda know what I want to do with the build, but... The shape changes... When I build it. That's the sink. I, I can't really talk about it and also build at the same time, because it takes so much time. Also, a lot of time that I spent is just flying around and <laughs> sinking about how I build it. Uh, further. It's... It doesn't take me a lot of time to build something, but... Uh, let's say it's not instant. Huh. These things are pretty fun to drive. I think... I think that looks decent. Mm. It's not yet finished, so it looks really weird, like a stick bug. <laughs> but it is fun to drive, at least. I can definitely say that about it. Yep, I like it. <laughs> Right, so now the armor part. Uh, we are on the planet, so it should be visible a little bit better than in space with mods enabled that make it so dark that you can't see anything at all. So now if we disable our automatic dampeners with the jetpack. Now what I like to do is first draw imaginary or... <laughs> lines from the bro blocks doesn't matter y you can not draw them you can on the rover just on the builds just to see what what they will look like and how i want to put the armor on them after that i will of course remove them while building but uh, it does help making a skeleton first and after that fill it get in Now I have an idea for the roof, maybe I want to do something like this. And all those other parts, I want to make them kind of flat-ish. But not too flat, because that's not how I build stuff. So I'm going to add this here, for example, and uh, a bunch of windows. Yep, windows work pretty well. Where to put some is a question. Right here. Basically, that's <laughs> that's a building process. It's kind of fun once you get into it. I usually sit for days and like think about. Uh, yeah, it would be pretty cool building something like this. After that, uh, I just <laughs> when I have enough thinking, I I sit down and. Uh, 
start building. <laughs> Until I get bored and postpone it to the next day. And eventually it, it gets built. I don't know, back like a year ago, I think it was when I still played Imperion. Uh, you don't care about it, but uh, still, let me tell you a story. <laughs> I could just... Yep, once I set three days straight, spent about 24 hours <laughs> making a ship and uh, did same for the another ship. Now I, I just can't. <laughs> I don't have the same motivation? Not motivation. Concentration? <laughs> I don't know. That, that looks disgustingly flat. <laughs> now, uh, let me recommend you some coloring tips. Uh, press B to open the paint menu. No, oh, another fun fact. Even if you put like 75.5 here, I think, for example. And you paint it. After that, now we use Shift P to pick it. It's going to round it to the 75, for example. So, just an interesting fact for you. Also, I do know that there's a lot of people who like build to paint their builds really bl uh, just straight black. No, do not do that. Uh, it's disgusting. <laughs> use gray or. If if you if you really want use white, it, it does not look good. One thing with sci-fi armor, it doesn't look that well with colors. If you want to color something and still have details, use better armor. It works well with literally any color. And it still have still has plenty of detail. Uh, wood armor is pretty nice too. Also, another thing that I just can't be bothered to paint stuff. I did it before, but first of all, I can't decide on the color. <laughs> also, if you are playing in survival and you just want to repaint it or accidentally repaint it, there's no way to revert it, so literally waste of time <laughs> painting it in the first place. So yeah, just go crazy with detailing it with blocks and do not worry about coloring because it takes too much time. And it's not rewarding <laughs> at all. Uh, also, it might seem hard to find the correct blocks for stuff at first, but uh, you will get the skill when you build it, when you build more and more and more, and it, it will become kind of automatic <laughs> at some point. I still have much more building to do before I get to, like, truly, professionally amazing level. <laughs> but I think I'm at a pretty good level right now, too. Well, anyway, uh, let me build a little bit more and I will be right back. After building a little bit more, I finally have a good place to show the freestyle building so I'm not going to talk because I can't do the both things at the same time well <laughs> basically Basically, uh, let me adjust my microphone one second. <coughs> okay, this is better. Something with a real ton of detail is just. Kind of try out different patterns. If it works on the first try, that's nice. If it doesn't, then you try again. The key is. Not to use any flat planes, just don't, don't do that. Block by block, bit by bit, carefully do it. And now I'm being, being really lazy because I'm 
repeating literally the same pattern around this. Usually you shouldn't do it because it will look like just a skeleton. It, it will look better than a flat plane, but still it will look... Mm, it will look lazy. Yeah, that's the word. Ah, uh, no, okay, this is going to be horrible. It's <laughs> going to get the trip cage thing. I'm going as uh, that I don't want to have here at all. What, 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 what can I do here? Hmm. Looks fine from this side. It's one thing that you need to check when building is... Does it look well from other sides? Because if it looks really nice from one side, but if you look at it at the front, it looks like a brick. Then, well... <laughs> no, I know. If you do... This, that, that, this, right here. So we do something like this. Maybe that will work. It's not going to be the same on all the sides. So that's better than nothing. I guess. And maybe here we could do something else and not just finish it right here. Maybe we could go with this. Uh, give her some blocks they need. <laughs> okay, it still looks kind of repeating, but it, it doesn't look that bad. And, yeah, not to repeat it fully, we can also go for this section like this and make it elongated. Hmm, yes. Does it? Oh, wow, that's dark. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks nice. Kind of. From the top, fine. Just the window spam. I, I really don't know what to do here on the top. There's not that many blocks that I can use to add a lot of detail to a half block roof. Which is sad. I will need to put some lights in here. And I will need to put some lights in here. Put some lights in here already. It looks kind of decent. And by the way, yes, my theory was correct. You can convert it to the ship and convert it back to the station when it stops. So that makes the safe zone usable. Here, what, what can we do here? Asymmetry one, just make sure it's on because you don't want to be building without symmetry. And then flying up and seeing that <laughs> half of your side is missing. Not half of your side, half of your ship is missing. Or build, yeah. Okay, that looks bulky, and uh, you get that inappropriate shape. <laughs> if we... One, another thing. How to not make inappropriate sh shape accidentally? And even if you do, you can always add a tail to the ship, and it will remove the inappropriate shape. 
So, for example, bam, in appropriate shape. <laughs> you add a tail to it. It looks kind of better. <laughs> That's the simplest solution to that. <laughs> because there's a lot of ships on the workshop that literally have main body and two thrusters on the sides. And uh, they are also... the thrusters are very rounded, so <laughs> it looks even worse than it, if it was all blocky. So, yeah. Hilarious stuff. But it's really easy to fix. I guess I'm going to expand this a little bit. My, my toolbar is an absolute mess. I, I still don't know how... What is the best way to sort all of the blocks to the toolbar? Which is... Um, mm, I really want to put a diagonal railing here, but then, yeah, you get set. I guess railing end will work just well. Railing, oh, oh, there's no railing end. It's only on the catwalks. There's an end block and shape but here um, okay that looks kind of decent really going for asymmetry here and it doesn't look that bad asymmetry does look pretty nice if you do it correctly still have to yet still yet have to build a fully asymmetrical ship but i will do it someday I still don't have an asymmetrical ship in my fleet, so... Uh, not fleet. Uh, ah, then it, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I can't build and talk at the same time. I still don't have a carrier ship in my, bil uh, in my fleet. <laughs> so I think I might make that asymmetrical, but that's a story for another day. Symmetry. Something like this. Maybe you can do this. Also, you can maybe use round slope, arm round armor slope here. It works really well with this. Oh, that looks intimidating. I like it. Alright, uh, I will be I will be back when I make a little bit more progress. I could pro probably put landing pad on the bottom, not the bottom, the back of it. Uh, apparently, I can't speak even when I am not building. <laughs> I did want to put a drill on the back, so maybe. Hmm, I just had a great idea. Maybe we could put a landing pad on top, not not on top, on the back, and make a drill module that can be docked on top of the landing pad and can be used to drill. Now that's uh, two birds with one stone, uh, 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 two small ships with one rocket launcher. <laughs> okay, I will do that. Oh, ho, ho. This <laughs> man, it's really hard to see the actual scale of the things in the games. Like, like this rover, I I didn't measure it yet, but I think it should be about a hundred meters long. It it doesn't seem that big <laughs> when you're driving in short camera. But if you go outside, oh boy, <laughs> look at those wheels. Oh, the exit here is so annoying, I might need to make another one. <laughs> look, 
look at it. <laughs> it's enormous. Uh, uh, handbrake, please. Uh, control. Handbrake. There we go. Actually, let's see. I do have a ship they didn't release yet. Maybe it is already released on the workshop. This one is 97 meters long. Oh, alright. <laughs> this this rover base is definitely over 100 meters long. <laughs> well, that got big really quickly. It is a nice ship. And there's not really that much work to be done. I have been building for 5 hours already. I did build two, two, for 2 hours. After that, uh, uh, today is already 6th day, so I built 3 hours today. I mean, I could probably have built this all in one day, but I just got tired. It was really late when I started it. Anyway, yeah, there's only bottom to finish, and I need to figure out the landing pads up there and the front it doesn't seem like a lot but it is a lot or it isn't uh, whatever no point in talking about whether it's a lot or not and it's the third day hopefully I will finish this rover today and I also just hit 150 subscribers how impressive hooray let's launch a firework Uh, one another great tip I can give on how to get better at building is to just go on the workshop and look at how other people build their ships. Subscribe to them, analyze them, <laughs> spawn them in, look at them. Of course, most of them can be improved a lot, but if you are just starting out, it's a really good place to get some inspiration and learn some tricks. Uh, what what is happening here? <laughs> what 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 is it? <laughs> uh, whatever I will figure it out later. <laughs> uh, still not planning out anything. Literally just placing blocks, and it works out most of the time. It's it's that easy. Building is that easy. You don't need to plan anything at all. Uh, also, by the way, another thing. I do listen to music to not get bored while, bu while building, but uh, it's not uh, like uh, classical music or anything. Anyway, I'm going to drop the Spotify playlist in the description of this video. And uh, you can tell me if you like it or not. It's, it's not for everyone, I would say. Uh, and not in the terms that it's too hard to understand, but uh, that uh, it's... It can be a little bit too much for some people. Well, <laughs> you will see what I'm talking about when you... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Continue building. One hour has passed today and I'm already really close to getting the hole finished. It's much better to build with a fresh head. So in total this project already took me only six hours. <laughs> It's, it's not that much for something this size. And uh, I do think that it looks intimidating and kind of scary. And not like a toy. As most of the ships that are built in Space Engineers. And that's exactly what I'm going for. Like, like <laughs> Look at this, it, it looks terrifying. Or maybe it's just me. Yep, no planning at all. Just <laughs> slapped blocks and it worked out. And uh, literally everyone can do it. Well, unless you have some really horrible mental sickness then... Well... I mean, is there really any mental sicknesses that can 
make building something impossible. I don't think there are many. Well, <laughs> anyway, let's let's uh, not discuss the topic because it's controversial, <laughs> and I don't want to be controversial. No, being controversial is not nice. Actually, what? How does it look on the inside? I will need to put some lights around. Mm. Yep, decent kind of empty engineering space in here. Everything is accessible, so that's nice. Here, need to put the walls here. Uh, the cockpit is pretty good. This area is pretty good, I think. Uh, they still haven't added the music that people made, didn't they? Okay. Maybe it will come with the Warfare 2 update. Oh, this new corridor blocks. Passage blocks are amazing. Need to put some lights here. Need to put some lights here. Airlock. Landing pads. Oh, by the way, <laughs> does this landing pads remind you of anything? Look at them closely. Closely, closely. <laughs> it's literally the same layout as on PLS uh, 160, right? A seven by nine and here it's five by seven. Five by seven, seven by nine. Yep. <laughs> the same landing pads. This is actually the first ship that I built in this style. <laughs> Surprisingly. It took me fifteen hours, I think. And modification to Mark II to add this tower and stuff. Uh, refit. Uh, maybe two or three more hours. I could probably build it more, much more faster now <laughs> that I made a bunch of ships in this style. Actually, since we are talking about stuff, and I post him cloud, it's totally unrelated to the topic of this video, but. I do have some older ships. Oh, this one, for example. The one that I still painted at that point. Uh, let me change the skin. It's uh, the, be the beginning of this weird style, chaotic. It still wasn't perfect, because still some flat areas. And they didn't really know at that point much what I was doing with it, but uh, now I kinda got it finalized. And it works. What other stuff do I have? Uh, oh, totally related. Uh, this one. <laughs> this one is pretty fun sync. No, I think so. Uh, what is happening here? Okay, one second. Everything is unlocked, right? Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Hope. And it switches like that, and it can of only flies in space like that, so... <laughs> well, it, it, it's, it's not really practical. And it's really slow, but it's pretty cool. Uh, and here's the only big other big rovers that I built. Actually, fun fact, I did 
go around perch them in survival on this rover. So, yeah, that was pretty fun. Well, anyway, back to building. <laughs> Almost seven hours in, more like six and a half in total. In total, not just today, just in total. Most of the rover is complete. Let's walk inside. Uh, I switched to diet to test slides. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. I will switch today later. Look at that. That looks scary. Now we have ladders here. Currently the suspension is at maximum height and we can still get to them. Here's the trick. Hold. Right, left, back, uh, forward and press space. And you will get launched from the ladder in that direction. Why am I hearing tired noises? <laughs> right, we come in. Now also before we proceed. How you set up the lights? The best way is... You need to set up the corner lights individually and interior lights. Put 10 meters radius, 1 meter uh, one fall off, and 1 intensity. 10 meters radius. And do the same for interior lights. Do not select them both and do the same because it will make the values weird. Like if you put 10 here, it will put 20 here because it doesn't put the numbers. It kind of puts in them in percentages or something. But yeah, 10 meters, 1, 1. A spotlights, crank them to the max and intensity on 1. Uh, passages you can, I think, change with the corner lights. They should have the same settings. Uh, did I... I hopefully... Okay, I, I'm still fine on lights. Didn't overdose on them. Yeah, don't put a lot of lights because it might lag on the servers. Now, we are in the pressurized area. Here I could probably add this. No, chat hide please yourself uh, yep. okay safe zone reactor pretty empty here batteries now here's a secret the secret ingredient to a good rover is secret ingredient is crime <laughs> okay <laughs> the secret ingredient is gyroscopes so what you shall do is put I think let's see how, how many gyroscopes should we put here four maybe eight ah, we will test let's put four oh let's put eight <laughs> let's put eight and let's put them right here And now, what you should do is select gyroscopes. No. <laughs> Oops. Now you select gyroscopes and you put them into the override. That's it. All values on zero. They will not turn, but they will stop rover from doing weird stuff in air. And that's the secret. It, you don't really need that on the bigger rovers. But on smaller rovers, it helps a lot. But on bigger, it helps too when you have air time. <laughs> yep. Put the lights around here. Maybe that was too much. Too many lights. Like here. Um, it's, it's fine. Lights here. Lights here. The pooping corner. I guess you will be pooping in the dark. Medical station decoration block. I, I still have zero clue why. You, can, you can't even lay in it. That's kind of sad. Okay. Out we go. And I did put one air vent. So it pressurizes the whole rover. Just because. Why not? One is enough. Symmetry mode is on. Oh, 
Okay, that's fine. Antenna. Or detector and laser antenna, just in case. I don't use it, but uh, why not put it on here? Landing pads and some merge blocks. I don't think I will be making the drill rig for this in this video, but uh, just put some merge blocks for when I make it in future. If I if I will make it, I I, I have zero clue if I will, if I want to make it or not. Alright, uh, let's let's f save it. Uh, now here comes the fun part. Uh, not really that fun, but still. Let's first of all convert it to... No, I need to get in the seat to do that for some reason. Right, let's convert it to station so it won't make weird noises. Oh, it's moving. Why is it moving? It is pretty heavy. One and six, one point six kilotons. Come on, come on, stop. Behave yourself. <laughs> Why? Why doesn't it stop? It it it, it worked before. Oh, by the way, this this thing. Uh, that's another story. I will be renaming all of this <laughs> and grouping. All right, sus, very sus. Uh, suspensions are the imposter confirmed. <laughs> okay. Not funny. Uh, maybe let's max out the friction. Sus. What? Sus. <clears throat> uh, oh, it's it's cockpit. <laughs> Not con con control seat. Okay, I'm I'm so confused. Handbrake. <clears throat> what is happening? Sus. Will 50% strength make it better? Just stop already! <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop! Oh, it might be the gyroscopes. Are, are the gyroscopes doing this? On the over... Wow, I just accidentally pressed the Windows button. Well, that's always fun. <laughs> Yep, that was the gyroscopes, so you might need to disable the override on them. If you want to stop fully. Alright. Uh, sorry for that. <laughs> uh, that was really annoying. Alright, now let's get out of here. Why did I select this stairway? This is the longest way to get out. And this thing sure, sure is huge. <laughs> let's let's replace it. Uh, now, fun part. Um, we shall measure the lengths. Uh, Forty-six blocks, I think. So there's a half block here, and in the front there's just the class thingies. Doesn't really count. Oh, as there's not even the class thingies inside. So it's 45 blocks. So it's 44 and a half. Okay. Calculator time. Uh, 44.5 multiplied by 2.5. 111.25. 
right. So the length is about 111 meters. So let's see. Pillar 101. Should I go 111 or 110? Yeah, let's go one, 110. PLR 110. Resource processing large rover. Or just processing large rover. Because it's made to process resources. It has refineries and stuff. Inside with. Right. So, yeah. PLR 110. And now we put the name on it. And that makes it really close to finished. After that I will need just to group the stuff in the control panel, set up the cockpit and to uh, waste entire day of my time having fun with it, crashing it into different mountains and uh, L. Okay. <laughs> oh by the way, fun fact. Look at this letter L and look at this. Number seven. <laughs> it's literally the same. <laughs> I wonder if that's the case for O. <laughs> it is the same. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, pillar one hundred and ten. Ta-da! Beautiful. <laughs> now, yeah, also some perimeter defense. Slap some interior turrets on it. Just to get rid of spiders if you play with them. Why would you play with spiders enabled? I don't know. <laughs> or if you are playing Cozy Servant, you want to get rid of annoying players that are jumping around. I don't put turrets because, like, look look at how ugly they are. Look at that. Kin. <laughs> Who designed these turrets? Fire them. <laughs> no, of course, I'm just kidding, but seriously. First of all, that three block high hitbox, I mean, it makes sense, but... You could make these turrets much smaller than this. This is horrible also. <laughs> When I played with uh, someone, <laughs> he say pointed out that this <laughs> thing just fits from the turret and inside the turret itself. It's it's literally stupid. <laughs> like how how is ammo even getting inside? The <laughs> what? <laughs> this literally makes no sense. It's fireless turret. <laughs> yeah, same for this one. Wireless technology has advanced too far. <laughs> and same for this one. <laughs> the ammo is here, but how does it fit into the turret? Nobody knows. Okay. So let's put this turret here too. Let's go for like 8 turrets, I think should be good. On the top. Do I want to put turrets on the top? Eh. Eh. Not a big fan of that idea, so I'm not going to do it. Well, uh, there we go. That's most of it finished. I didn't miss any blocks, did I? Uh, this, 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 this. Uh, yeah, projector and remote control. Important things. That you shouldn't forget to put on your stuff. Uh, let's put this right over here. And remote control. If you if you aren't looking for a conflict conflict, then you won't need any turrets. I played on the servers a lot, and uh, well, I never needed any turrets, and I didn't even ever get into conflict with anyone. So, if you are going to the war, you will need turrets. But if you aren't looking for war actively, no one is going to find you. Plus, you can just stay inside the safe zone all the time. 
or just jump out. Well, it's going to be a little bit more problematic with, problematic with this rover, but I don't think you will be using it on the server that much. It's more of a single player thing. On the server, open one. Because... Yeah. You could always put tours on it. It's not that hard to modify. What's... How is it in terms of the... Oh, wow. It's really cheap. Only 8000 PCU. Not, not bad at all. Anything else I forgot. Uh, no, I think that's it. I don't need a gravity generator here. You know what? Yeah, I can put a sync right here. Will that look decent? Uh, okay, I shouldn't be doing this on camera, but I will be back. When I set up most of the stuff, I don't know, should I make this place fancier? Ah, surely not. No one is going to walk around here and it's going to be hard to modify it if I put some blocks around there. So, oh, by the way, one second. Hold up, wait a minute. Uh, can I replace some of these blocks with... Oh yeah, I can. I can replace some of these blocks under the stairs with just slopes. I think that should make it look nicer. Ah, wrong button. Da da. And is it still pressurized? Hmm, no. Did I forget to close the door somewhere? Or does it not work because there's... Um, yep, yeah, I think that's a problem. A slope, nearby slope, it doesn't... This might be the problem. Are there any blocks that could be useful? Mm. You know what? This doesn't look that bad. And it should be pressurized now. Right? Uh, right, correct. Perfect. Right, so also one other thing before I skip to, to it being fully finished. Let's compare gyroscopes versus no gyroscopes. So jump. Uh, uh what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Can it jump even? Can this rover jump? Okay, it's enough to move it. But yeah, for things this big, you don't even need to put them into override. But still, might be useful. Always put gyroscopes on your rover and put them into override if it's a small rover. Because it won't flip over. Oh, oh look at it. Look at it go. Yep. 
So, also one other thing. Your builds may look weird when you just start building them, but... As, l as long as you finish it, it will work out somehow. You do remember. It looked kinda weird at first, but... Nope. Looks totally normal now. And the clearance is pretty good. You can go really fast on this. About 70, maybe 80 meters per second. If you accelerate for long enough. Yep. The clearance is totally fine. That asymmetry on the top also adds a lot. Not a lot, but... <laughs> well, it adds something. Whether it's good or bad, it definitely adds something. This game is fun. <laughs> now, enable idle movement off this, like this. What I do is get the name, and I rename everything like this, and also remove numbers from anything that doesn't need numbers because it's annoying. Why? And even if something needs numbers, I do it like this. Like 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 002, so it won't be weird because, for example, if you have 10 and 1 and 2, then if you go here, you can see 1, after that goes 10, after that goes 2, it's really weird. But you have it like this. See? Totally fine. That was a big air time. <laughs> Maybe I should put the lights a little bit lower, but... It, it really looks... The beam of lights look really small. And it is small. I bet in real life a good projector can go shine over a kilometer. So it's kind of weird that they are so... They are so bad in space engineers. Oh, we have arrived at something. You, you would see much more if you didn't have the mod they have. I have the Space Chess Cotrial. It makes everything so dark at night, which I really like. Huh. It has even a pretty good... It drives pretty well on ice too. Alright, well, I will be right back when it's mostly finished. Well, that's a bra moment. <laughs> that's why you always check your builds. Accidentally placed these blocks there <laughs> instead of a normal cube. <laughs> Oops, Daisy. Just, just always find stuff in your. At least I find always stuff in my builds like that, even after a month. <laughs> Of using it. <laughs> Forgotten blocks, blocks that shouldn't really be there. Uh, it's too big, <laughs> it's too big to exist. <laughs> this shouldn't exist. Like, look, 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 
ridiculous it is. The, si the size is crazy. This is a really fun game. <laughs> just, 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 just wow. But it always does look at the best at night. Well, <laughs> it's literally invisible at night. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. I did promise to get back when I finish everything. Oh, I didn't finish anything. <laughs> okay, be right back. Most of the setup is done. Uh, so basically we have handbrakes, chair scopes overrides, cameras, connector on the bottom, two cool off wheel suspensions, speed limits. Oh snap, I forgot to add. <clears throat> I forgot to add the wheel height. That's the thing that I forgot to add. Uh, let's, let's, is there any good place for it to go? Mm, fine, let's put it here. Uh, reset height of set. Increase height of set, uh, fun fact, increase height of set actually makes the lower go, the, the rover go down and decreasing it makes it go higher. Right, so now also antenna. I set it on like this. Now what you should also do is put Control C, it, you can change the stuff on it. I use just black and white displays like that. Or detector, put it to max range, stop the turret, set up basically or yep, or detector max range. Magical room, name it, spawn name. And there's a lot of options that you can do. Also, also, also one other important thing. Connectors. Put strengths disabled because you don't want to get Bucked out with magnets and have your ship slammed <laughs> and destroy half of your another ship. Now, how we name blocks that we don't have the access to the connector ports like refineries, for example. Refineries, we get them, show an HUT, and same for assemblers. Show an HUT, and same for the suspensions. Show on HUT. Perfect. Right, <laughs> what we do with them is now also to give them temporary names like A here, B here, C here, A here, B here, and C here. After that we look at them and rename them with names that they will have. Gyroscopes, gyroscopes. What, what is happening? Gyroscopes are disabled, right? <laughs> Why are we still moving? The override on the gyroscopes is disabled. Why? Disable the gyroscopes themselves. Well, top 10 questions science can answer. <laughs> anyway, yep, rename everything like that. Why are they showing us white? So weird. Let's go. What? 
Why can't I transfer it to myself? Huh? Why? Why are they showing as white and not as blue? What is this magic? <laughs> also, make sure everything is hidden in the terminal. Like that, when it's all grouped and also in all blocks. You should only have jump drives, cameras and turrets because you can't put them in groups and have them accessible. So when you set up them to control, to control them, you will need to put them not as groups but as blocks. Because for some reason when even if they are in the group, a single block in the group, you still can't control them. It's really weird. And also I have a camera on the bottom nearby the connector here. And by the way, you know what should would be kinda useful? Having collide nearby the connector would be useful. That's what would be useful. <laughs> right, well, I will be right back when I finish naming everything and put the light here. Alright, everything is set up. Uh, wheels turn off and on, uh, speed limit, disable different stuff, stockpiles the tanks, assemblers, refineries, ore detector, projector lights, gyroscopes, close all doors, open or close the gate, antenna settings, connectors, merge block on the bottom there, turret control uh, and suspension height regula regulation. Now one thing is that you won't be able to get a rover in the front hangar unless you, it can jump or you can kinda tilt it upwards, pitch it upwards with the gyroscope. Nah, it's fine. Uh, I can really should add a ramp block, like a hangar door block, but it's a ramp that extends diagonally for this, because it get on rotors and stuff is annoying. Right, everything here should be stopped now properly. Great. Sus. Sus. The sus. The suspensions. Um, all here is correct. Copy. Pillar. Uh, replace actually. We can blueprint this because it's renamed now. There we go. Pillar. And this one can get delete. Perfect. DLCs, DLCs. At this point, we have 10 symbols here. 9 DLCs and 1 symbols that we get for. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Completing the survival tutorial fully. I don't remember how it's called. Basically, the ones there, there's a bunch of asteroid stations. And you need to complete the challenge on each of them. That one. I completed it. Well, I cheated a little bit, <laughs> as with most achievements. I use cheats, like for frostbite scenario, because the scenarios in this game is li are literally unplayable. <laughs> you can't complete it without running into some bug and needing to restart fully, so I just used the uh, spectator camera to just teleport around myself to complete the objectives, and that's it. Easy as that. Other achievements that are easier, I got them eventually. But with most ones, I kinda didn't get them fully legitimately. I did get them legitimately, but it's like totally... Wait. Right, uh, maybe I need to add a uh, sync to make suspensions a little bit softer too. Yeah, let's do that. Sus. Uh, strengths. You can't reset strengths, can you? Okay. Decrease strengths. Increase strengths. There we go. Uh, 
And let's put the fault on 50 something. Or is 50 bad? Uh, should be like 25. Let's copy and test it. Try it around. I, I have zero clue how long this video will be, and I'm not planning to edit it a lot. So it might as well be an hour or two. Probably. Oh, by the way, I should really mention that uh, the inspiration for this was. Just uh, a small tiny post on Reddit where a user suggested that. Uh, suggested a challenge to make a kind of big rover base. So, well, I'm participating in that. I'm going to put the link to the post in the description too. Uh, the deadline is May 1st, I think. So, it right now is May 20th. Right now it's April 25th, so it's like less than a week to that. And when this I post this, it should be... Maybe I will post today, maybe tomorrow. Well, I don't know if you will have enough time to make it to the deadline, if you will want to participate in that. But, I mean, this took me three days to build. You could probably build this in one day, if you... Alright, why, why, why is it so slow? <laughs> I think this thing might need to accelerate real fast. Oh, I know. I know the problem. The gyroscope override can cause some of this thingy. Where it keeps the rover in the air. And not all wheels are touching. So I guess you need to accelerate first to get up the hills with this thing. Which makes sense. You don't really see many <laughs> multi kiloton rovers driving around in real life, do you? This a size like this, it would probably have uh, tracks on it. Instead of wheels. I I don't know. Now let's go getting some speed. 40 meters per second. Looks so slow, but it's actually like uh multiply by 3.6. It's uh, Well, 50 meters per second I know is 180 kilometers per hour. Which is a lot. Or 57 Eagles per cheeseburger for all of my American friends. Or was it uh, one nuclear bomb per football field? I don't really remember. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and it's not even that big. It's it's big, but it's not even that big. You can build much bigger stuff in Space Engineers, but it's probably this size, 100 to 200 meters is a, a pretty good one for most of the ships that you will need. Okay, this is going to be horrifying. <laughs> oh boy! Slow down! And that's why we get gyroscopes. <laughs> For cases like this. Mm. Oh boy! Oof! Oh! <laughs> Critical failure! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, oh wow. Well, let's face it. <laughs> Great. It works pretty well. Uh, let's go test it on the Pertum. <laughs> Alright, we are in the testing world, and as you can see, I was testing... Uh, what was I testing here? Oh, wait. No, it's in the survival mode. Okay, let me switch it to creative. <laughs> These DLC symbols are like cameras on iPhones. <laughs> With every new model, there's one more. What, what, how many cameras are on these Samsung phones and iPhones now? Four, Samsung, five, five, I don't know. Uh, totally unrelated, but I do like the Sony phones, but recently they haven't really made any good ones. Do they have made one with 21.9 screen ratio, which is really specific. They made a lot of phones before, but now kind of slowed down. But the Samsung just spams their phones. I, I, I hate Samsung. <laughs> just... And iPhones. I don't know why. But yeah, why is there a burning hot ship here is because I was doing this. Let's go! I can't. <laughs> this is too funny. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, uh, so Pertum test. Uh, where was the Pertum again? I was just right on uh, the Spertum. Here it is. I do like Pertum. Pertum is a nice planet. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, I said. Come on. Go faster, go faster, go faster. It's too slow. Spin the wheels. Okay, this is... This is a really funky terrain to traverse. <laughs> This rover is definitely not made for this. <laughs> Probably only works on flat air terrain. Stop. I wonder how fast it can go on just its wheels. How fast can it, can it accelerate? This is 
this is so impractical. This is so useless. Why did I build this? For the challenge, of course, but... It, it's fun, but it's totally useless. But it's fun. But it's useless. But it's fun. Imagine this. Imagine actually using this cargo inside of it. Oh boy, that's fun. Not to worry. I have nice clearance. Here we go. 50 meters per second. Let's go. Seventy meters per second. Eighty meters per second. Eighty-five. Ninety. <laughs> okay, it can go pretty much to the speed limit of a hundred meters per second. I have a higher speed limit here, but I think wheels don't accelerate more than that. Oh boy, oh boy, this is going to be bad. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. Uh, Let's just say this is modern art. You don't need to understand it. <laughs> uh, one other thing they want to do in this video and I'm going to end it because it's getting really long almost as long as this rover <laughs> what I want to do is accelerate And get out. So useless, but so cool. Windows everywhere. I think I just hit a tree. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there it goes. These new rifles are pretty cool. The sounds of them are really amazing. Now one other thing I want to do. Okay, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, too loud. I think... What is your favorite weapon at this point in the game? This one I hate. The lead one. Meh. This one meh. I think I like the pistol. This rapid fire pistol. has literally the highest fire rate of all the weapons, even higher than this thing. Look at it. Look at it. Go. Pew, 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 pew. What does that do? 
30 ammo, 50 ammo, 30 ammo, is it like different ammo types or something? I have zero clue what this does. Can't wait to see what weapons for the ships we will get. I wonder if we will get like cannons. I just launch one round. That would be cool. Alright, uh, yeah, I think I need to end this at this point. Uh, the ship is finished, uh, the rover is finished. And, uh, yep. I think the link of it will be in the description. The link to it. I should release this video and rover at the same time. So, yep, check it out. And, well, uh, see you. Subscribe, maybe. <laughs>